Solve the system by the elimination method. Here we have the equations 4x plus 2y is equal to 2, and 5x plus 4y is equal to 7. I'm going to start by identifying these equations as equations numbers 1 and 2. Now as we use the elimination method, we'd like to be able to add the equations together and get a variable to cancel out. If we do that at this point, neither is going to cancel out, so we need to do some, some prep work up front. If we want to get the y variable to cancel, we can turn this positive 2 into equation 1 into a negative 4 if we multiply equation 1 through by the number negative 2. So let's do that. Negative 2 times that 4x gives a negative 8x. Negative 2 uh, times the 2y gives a plus a negative 4y, or you might have said there just minus 4y, and that's equal to a negative 4. I'm going to go ahead and call that um, equation 3 since we've changed things up a bit. Now we want to add that to our previous equation 2, which was 5x plus 4y is equal to 7. Now if we add, our y variable is going to cancel out. Adding our x variables, over here we get a negative 3x, and that's equal to 3, or x is equal to negative 1. We're halfway there. Now we want to solve for y. I'm going to go up and choose my uh, first equation 1 to do that. That equation is a 4x plus 2y is equal to 2. And substituting x equal negative 1, we have a 4 times negative 1 plus 2y is equal to 2. That's a negative 4 plus 2y is equal to 2. Adding the 4 to both sides gives 2y is equal to 6 or y is equal to 3. So we've solved for both x and y. Let's summarize by saying the solution set. is the point where x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to 3.